We recently flew back from Barcelona back to San Diego on British Airways business class on their new A350 and it looked like this. I thought it was a great flight and I'd definitely fly British Airways A350 again. As for how I booked this flight, I used American Express points. And using my American Express points, I could have booked through British Airways for 110,000 avios per person. But of course, you know I didn't do that. I booked it for less. In this video, I'll show you my thought process and how I booked this flight. If you're new here, my name is Max and I help people maximize their airline miles, hotel points, and credit card points so they can travel more, travel better, and travel for less. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. It helps out my channel and let's Let's get started. My wife and I had a great time in Barcelona and to get back to San Diego, we're planning to fly Iberia business class out of Madrid to O'Hare and then fly Southwest from O'Hare to Vegas and then Vegas into San Diego. A lot of flying. Really not ideal routing connecting through Chicago during a winter storm as well. So probably not a good idea. We didn't want to get stuck in Chicago because my wife needed to get back to work to save some PTO. So while we were in Spain, I started looking for alternative options. Keep in mind that Iberia flight that we had originally booked was from 2020 and I booked that for 17,000 points each way in business class. So I was willing to take the L on that and just lose the points. It was totally okay. I wanted to get back to San Diego as quickly as we can and avoid getting stuck in Chicago. So the first thing I did was I started with flightconnections.com. Flight Connections is a free tool that you can use to search all of the different flight routes around the world. I searched what's the fastest way back to San Diego from Barcelona. The number one option, the fastest option, is to fly British Airways from Barcelona to London and then from London to San Diego. It always surprises me that there's a non-stop flight between London and San Diego. San Diego is a small to medium-sized airport and it doesn't have many international flights, especially to Europe. So whenever I fly out of San Diego and I see the British Airways A350, I always think it's really cool to see and I've always wanted to get on that flight. So I figured if there is a ward space, this is my opportunity to fly that flight. Sitting in our hotel in Spain, I ran my search and first thing I did was go to British Airways because that's the easiest thing to do. British Airways operate flight, search on British Airways. And American Express points transfers directly over to British Airways, so it made sense. I searched and it says 110,000 points per person at about $380 in taxes and fees, and there are three seats open. Well, that's good. There's award space, not good that they're charging 110,000 points per person though. It's a lot of points. Since there's a ward space, that means I can shop this around to other partner airlines to see if they can see the same award space. Using my transfer partner cheat sheet, I put in British Airways, American Express points, and it tells me to search British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Iberia, and Qantas. The reason why this works is that British Airways is part of the One World Alliance. One World Alliance partners can sometimes share the same award space. So that means if I find award availability with one One World airline, that means I can potentially find the same exact flight on another One World partner for less points. I already searched British Airways and it was 110,000 points and $380 in tax and fees. Going to put that into my spreadsheet. Next up, Qantas, and Qantas says it's 104,500 points and 349 euros in taxes and fees. Then it's Cathay Pacific. Cathay Pacific says it's 75,000 Asia miles and $343 in taxes and fees. Way better than the other options. Remember I said different airlines charge different amounts for the same flight? Well, in this case, it's clear which option is the best option and that's booking through Cathay Pacific. I then transfer my American Express points over to Cathay and complete the booking with Cathay Pacific. Cathay Pacific will send me a confirmation number for the British Airways flight, and when I arrive at the airport in Barcelona, I just check in with British Airways, and I'm flying British Airways business class all the way back to San Diego. That's how I booked our return ticket back from Spain to San Diego. I found award availability, I shopped that award availability around to partner airlines, and I found a better deal. 75,000 American Express points transferred to Cathay is better than 110,000 American Express points if I would have booked through British Airways. Strategies like these can really help you maximize your airline miles and credit card points and stretch your points further. I'm launching a course in the coming weeks called Search, and I'll teach you the strategies and tips on how to find award availability and maximize the award availability that you do find and use less airline miles or credit card points for your travel. The course is a self-paced online course, and it'll teach you the ins and outs of award availability. Say goodbye to the frustration of endlessly searching for award availability and never getting the flights that you want. 
If you're interested in checking out the course, the link is in the description. And if you want to watch more videos and tutorials on how to maximize your miles and points, check out this playlist and I'll see you guys in the next one.